Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial video and in this Tableau tutorial video I will show you how you can create a resume like this. So many of you as a Tableau dashboard developer is maybe you are creating a, uh, your resume within the document or maybe on a website or somewhere but this talk if using this tutorial you can create your uh, resume like this. Uh, this is just one sample, but you are you have uh, freedom to make any changes that you want. Uh, so what I am showing here over, over here is, as you can see, I am showing the uh, image, the name, the designation, uh, the email address, and uh, the mobile number. And then one of the very important thing um, a hiring manager would like to see is the skills. So that is the reason I have kept the skills at the top and just a quick intro or quick information about this candidate or about yourself that you can write over here. So that's why skill experience and about yourself is something should be at the top. Then another very important uh, information which as a hiring manager and look, uh, you know, they look at uh, what the professional experience is someone is having. So how you started, how you are ending. Another way is, uh, or another useful way is, what is your current designation is something you can keep it as a top and the where you started is keeping at the end. Now these are all the variations that you can do based on the needs that you are having. So over here, the table contains the, um, the designation, where you have worked, where you, uh, duration that from 2010 to 2012, 2012 to 2015, 15 to 19, 19 to now we can change this uh, to ongoing. Maybe I can do it in future videos and show it to you. But uh, along with this, uh, what is present over here is a short summary of the work or your profile in during the these companies and the title that you are handling. So this gives a very quick information about uh, about the. Um, about your profile in various different companies and the designation that you have hold. Along with that, uh, you have the information about the education. So you have higher secondary, senior secondary graduation and MBA. Again, uh, when you have completed it. And then uh, the third column we may have is the grade. Uh, I have not added it, but something, you know, uh, if, if we want to highlight this, you can highlight this. Those who, like me who did not have a lot of good grades, uh, you can just hide it like this one. That just show the information what what you were getting uh, or in which year you basically completed the major milestone during your education. What is your hobbies? Uh, something which is uh, very personal. Generally, in professional resume, people really don't bother about what your hobbies are. But in many resumes, I've seen it, so I've kept it over there. You can replace it with anything more interesting than this then the awards the different awards that you may have got is something you can put it over here and then finally uh, if you want uh, your uh, you know hiring manager or the hr to connect with you i think this having at the last uh, really makes sense the reason for this is if they really like you and they want to see your profile and if you are open to that then you can give the links over here which they can click and uh, connect with you. So an opportunity is something you are giving to them, especially LinkedIn for LinkedIn that they can go and see your profile, more detailed profile, your recommendation and other things. All right. So this is something which is available. Uh, I wanted to show you how you can uh, basically do that. I'll press escape. So how do we do that before i will show you actually how i have done it i will show you very quickly it's not a complete how to because something you know you must have already seen in my previous videos i posted hundreds of videos on how to develop the dashboards reports and everything so just taking the experience from there you can create this one but what i want to show you is this data set which is something we have created so this data for an employee is something I have divided into the professional and personal. Okay. So this way I have the personal information about who, what is the name of the employee or what is your name, what is education, complete, year completed. Uh, this information is something 
my my thought process is that we should be able to pull it based on the name the reason for this is maybe in one of the future video i will show you if you if you are an hr manager or if you are a hiring manager and you want to have something like an application which is uh, where you can you know put the employee information like first employee the second the third and the fourth their personal and professional information then you can easily you know utilize maybe one filter over here on the name you filter the name and you get it right so it can basically simplify a lot of um, uh, process for you in case uh, if you want to evaluate 100 different resume you don't have to go to one by one to those resumes by clicking at different but within one application you can do this piece and this can be a startup idea as well if if you want to be a tabli startup company that you have created a dashboard application which allows uh, your customers to look at multiple resumes in in such a vis good visualization form yeah so for that the requirement is that your sheet or your uh, data should be like this uh, where you have the personal information uh, everything like hobbies images email address phone number about me e images is something right now i am not using it i am currently using it as static i will show you uh, but in future i will show you how you can you know utilize the path of the image and uh, and dynamically uh, add the images over here based on uh, what you are changing or what uh, you want to uh, name that you want to see accordingly an image is coming all right i have not explored that but is something i will probably explore once i create the next version of version of it so once you have this i will going to add this information here in the data source so it's the same resume data or the resume data and we have the personal and the professional and the link is based on the name as you can see name is the common key however i don't suggest having the joins on the on the name or the character information but always on something which is numeric uh, as it is comparatively easy and fast so because it is very small i have kept it only on name but that's the recommendation i want to give it to you now once we have this what we have done is simply we have created a um, couple of views like the hobbies what are the hobbies right and uh, this is simply uh, the rows over rows i have put it over there i think if i remove the text nothing is going to happen this was just when i was experimenting it um, i was viewing it but the only other thing is uh, if you right click over here uh, so not even right click if i just go to format and shading you will see that this is the shading which i have taken this is the front end color and this black is the back end color so if i go to the dashboard the black is the back end color and the light gray is or oh, sorry the dark gray but not the complete black the dark gray is sort of uh, giving you an impression that uh, this this is coming out of this black and basically a part of it however separate as well okay so you have hobbies you have awards right you have skills and experience as a visualization i have re reduced the size and changed the color of this bars as you can see uh, the professional experience uh, if you see i have used these lines over here uh, and which i believe was present over here in the rows if i'm not wrong uh, or yeah this this should be in the rows this is where i had to sometimes do a lot of back and forth to really understand where this information is present yeah there you go i guess uh i was actually updating it over here so these are basically your row divider so this should be in a row and here is your row divider right so this is something for example if you want color like this one or this color or this color this is basically your pane where you need to go i will just keep it like this one this yeah this is good so within this box where you have the grid lines go to the rows go to the rows and here you have the row divider 
right? And then at the top you have the header as well. Okay, so once we have this, you have the education, very simple. Education and year completed. You may not get the same order. I have just manually done that. You can click this and drag it up and down the way you want. And uh, what is the name? And about me section, right? So it's very, very simple. Uh, nothing complex, but about me is something which, which I think I filtered. If I, sorry, show the filter to you. Prime, going there and clicking on that. Yeah, nothing is happening over there. If I just remove it, I believe nothing will happen. Yeah, there you go. So very, very simple, very, very straightforward. <laughs> nothing special hanky panky is going on over here just around the backend settings, but simple settings over here. And then within the dashboard, this is an image. So what I do, what I've done is in the back end, I have first taken the um, the vertical layout, right, uh, and uh, gave it a color which was uh, gray color, the dark color. I can't select it right now. Yeah, there you go. Completely outside, and this black color. Then one by one, uh, first one is basically your text box this uh, sorry uh the blank this one this is the blank in which we have image we have this sheet as you can see we have these some components image component this one this one these are icon. this is the icon which i have taken from the web you can choose what you want i have kept it like uh black so that it's it is catching the attention with the help of the email but not with the so much of the icon because I want the focus to be here on the on this particular title and this particular name, right? And then down there, whatever sheet that we are bringing it over here, we need to hold down the shift key and then bring the sheet because this sheet is in the floating order, right? And because of this, we are able to sort of uh, put them in a way we want. If it can be achieved with a fixed order as well, but it's just uh, too much of a, you know a management of moving the components here and there and adding a lot of uh, horizontal vertical components. I just wanted to avoid that. And uh, personally, I like keeping floating components so that I can move it wherever I want based on the design idea which is coming in my mind at that particular time. Okay. All right. Let me just put it a uh, little bit like yeah just making it so that it is it is in line with this one but that's okay we can always do that thing so same is the case with the about me sheet that we created always make sure that um, your sheet name is very similar to what functionality that you are doing that would be easy then professional experience I have given it a huge space in my view, it is very important because this will going to define that in your most recent designation, what you have actually done. However, what I see is one of the very crucial and missing information is the projects information over here, which ideally should be part of this. Maybe in future video or the future projects, I will do that. But you can always give a link to the projects, right? Maybe here at the top because we have some space. Uh, which can basically talks about the projects that you have done or your open source projects if if you don't want to show them or don't want to give them a lot of information about uh, the work project because work project is something you cannot uh, talk you cannot really show the functionality because of the uh, limitations or security issues so that is something you can talk about when the interview is going on or before the interview, if, if you want to give them the information like you usually give it in the resume, you can have maybe a link on the software engineer as a pop-up that look at my projects, which I've done it here. And maybe an external link or something, which you know you can provide it. Also, what can be done is based on the hover over to this particular, um, on, on this one, you should be able to highlight the project's information. Something, you know, it's very interesting while talking about this, I just got this idea that if I'm hovering over 
to this particular uh, software engineer profile, it should show me, it should show as a tool tip that uh, project, what are the projects that you have covered, something that will be very interesting. Give me the suggestion in the comments as, as you know, you may be seeing worth adding it and hopefully, you know, I'll give a bit of an effort on, on designing it like that. But yeah, this I, I feel like it's a good idea that instead of an external link, if someone is just hovering the mouse over to the designation, then they should be able to see the project's information of that uh, of that particular uh, designation that you have pulled. Right. So similar to this, any other suggestion that is coming into your mind looking at the done what we have done so far or we, I will going to explain, let me know in the comments. Now on the education side, uh, you know, something very simple that you have the major milestone is something along with the year in which you have covered. I think that much information is good. However, grading information is very important <laughs> irrespective of good or bad. So something I will, I will probably add it in the spreadsheet over here um, in, the, in the personal if I'm not wrong yeah over here maybe a column like this one something like great oh come on grades uh, or grade whatever column name you want to give maybe you got A you got B plus here you got B here and I don't know over here suppose it was a GPA and uh, you got like 4.2 all right so it's something with which you can show uh, if I come back here in the data source and I hit refresh um, I should be able to see the grade oh, let me hit refresh here oh come on it should come is it coming name year no have I let me see if, if it is about saving it and then only it will come okay save done it twice refresh yeah now the grades are coming right the connection is live just make sure that so with this uh, we can bring the uh, in the education we can bring i think even the grades now over here a a plus and all, everything and as you can see, it's it's very simple. And now the grades are over here. Uh, if I just extend this a little bit and put this over here, yep, like this one, right? And give it a little bit of a space so that it is in alignment. Now, as you can see, uh, whatever we want, we can just get it if we know how the how entire backend structure works. And this is the reason I wanted to give you this quick idea. Sometimes it takes time um, to add this, but I just thought it's it's worth so that uh, whenever you are having this this uh, sort of a need where you need to add the information back or need to add more information around uh, like grades or something should be able to do it without much of an agitation okay so with that yeah so now we have grades as well so it it makes it a complete metric uh, we have chess uh, the hobbies um, I'm not sure what else you would show it along with the hobbies. similarly with the awards I think with awards you know always a company is attached to it uh, like uh, whether you got the star employee in Infosys or Vipro TCS, usually it doesn't bother me uh, or it doesn't really bother as a hiring manager. So no no issues that I've not added it over here. Connection is something you are giving them the opportunity that hey go ahead and connect with me. I think it makes sense that we add it. Uh, however, it's a very personal choice whether you want to add it or not. So yeah, this is something what I wanted to show you. Um, a dashboard or sort of a, your own resume within Tableau. Think like this, you are going for a Tableau developer position and your, your resume itself is creatively done here in the um, in the Tableau and you can you are definitely more much more creative than me. I've just put some tables together but I'm pretty sure that you have more and more creative ideas. 
So let me know uh, uh, what you have created as a resume for yourself, for your Tableau developer profile. It would be really glad, I will be really glad and I'm sure others will be really glad to see those links um, uh, of Tableau public profile or, or the resume if you are uploading on Tableau public, you know, keep the link in the, in the uh, comments and uh, help me see uh, what you have created. But yeah, this is one of the design that uh, I wanted to show you. Uh, something which I felt is you can create for your Tableau resume. And maybe for future videos, what I will do is show you uh, some more designs, what you can use, as well as, uh, you know, an app where you can get a filter at the top, change the name of an employee or prospect employee or a candidate and uh, get the details. So that's about it and um, yeah, uh, let me know what do you think about it and if you enjoyed, hit the like uh, button and definitely request you to share with as much as you can with your friends, colleagues um, so that they can also get a benefit from this. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video.